Mr. Boundary, who, who are you with? Help me with the pronunciation of your name. Boundary. Boundary. Can you give me an overview of what happened today in the courtroom? Well, essentially, the plaintiff motion for an injunction was denied completely. As to Fulton County, it was denied on the merits. As to Gwinnett County, because the plaintiff failed to allege essential jurisdictional allegations, he conceded that the case was in the wrong court and asked the court to transfer it to Gwinnett County. So he totally abandoned the claim against Gwinnett County, at least for the time being. For those who don't understand what's going on with the Constitutional Amendment towards the charter schools, what is it about? Well, the, the real issue is the plan of the Republican Party ultimately to push vouchers to private schools at the expense of the public schools. This is simply a step in that plan. And for the voters, the real issue is, would you rather have your local school boards deciding whether or not it is appropriate to create another charter school in the district, and they have approved many and have disapproved none, or would you rather have a state agency which currently doesn't exist and is not elected, and it's going to cost, at least according to the state school superintendent's estimates, $450 million to create a new bureaucracy to take the power away from local people. So the amendment is it's put on the Constitution ballot that the voters are being asked to vote for is fraudulent, deceptive, and misleading. It tells voters there is local control. Local people can make these decisions. It's not true. Thank you. Fair play.